Plenty more to see after the break. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Now left side here to Bryant. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. And quickly they get to the line. Now Prescott. It's caught by Bryant. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And, boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Complete to Bryant. That throw good for four. It's second down. Second down now after the pass completion. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. Des Bryant, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Prescott off play action. He's going to try and go deep again. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their players. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Bantai Tail in there to get him for a loss of five. Play fake. Here's Prescott. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Third and long for Prescott. On the left side, he finds Beasley. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Here's Prescott. His throw caught at about the five. Call it an even 20 yards on the pickup. And the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. And again, it's Prescott. That's caught at the one. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Off the play fake, Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Bryce Butler, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. The partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. Too bad. Super tall. Well, you mind if we go off topic for a second? No, let's you know, go. 
that I like to do that randomly. Uh, AFC playoff contenders for this year that didn't make it last season. Who do you have that might get in? Well, I think Cincinnati's got to be considered there. Maybe they'd have a, an offseason that's calm and they go into this season and try and get back to the playoffs where they've been perennials. How about Denver? Yeah. Remember last year, they didn't have the quarterback to start. Trevor Simeon played pretty well overall, but maybe they can get solidified there and ride that strong defense right back into the playoffs. I'm going to give you a couple a little bit off the pace. Indianapolis cannot afford to squander Andrew Luck, ready, ready. one of the better young quarterbacks mm -hmm. in the game. They've got to get back to the playoffs. And Buffalo, brand new head coach, brand new people running the ball club. Let's see if they can figure it out, because I think defensively they can be awfully strong. Six yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Drew Kayser now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. This is taken at about the 14. Now a hit and a loose football. And picked up by the Chargers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. And now San Diego getting set to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now a second down throw for Rivers. And he's going to be out of bounds, down inside the 20. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third Detroit, and four. Detroit. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Right side catch, this is Gates. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll come out in the pistol. Rivers to throw for it on fourth. And Allen's got it. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Well, the feel that I get on this that they felt like three was just not going to be enough after getting this deep into their territory. And Charles, correct me if I'm wrong, but it didn't even look like they hesitated there. They knew they wanted to go for it. And this is hauled in by Williams for a Charger touchdown. Tyrell Williams, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. It's good to make it 17-7. Back now in Arlington. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. 
And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Deep drop. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they just did. And they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. Yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. It's away, and it's a high kick here, but not high enough to hit the scoreboard here in Dallas. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Out comes the San Diego offense as they get set to see what they can do here. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. And he's brought down. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now Rivers going to give it off to Gordon. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And that run was what a lot of people call an explosive run. Gave them good yardage, solid yardage. They feel good about the whole thing, and they did it behind a two tight end set. It's always interesting to watch what offenses want to do with the two tight ends. Sometimes they line them up together for a power set. Sometimes they put one on each side of the line of scrimmage to balance things out. No matter what, though, when you see two tight ends on the field, your first thought is to think of one. In this case, the offense was able to run successfully. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. Play clock winding down. To th oh, no, he lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Throwing, Rivers. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call that a loss of seven to bring up four. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. Here's Drew Kayser now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking on, for here. Go. 
On first and ten, Prescott trying to lay one up deep. He's got a man complete. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. Prescott. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So many components go into a well-executed screen pass. You've got to sell, sell, sell. Offensive line's got to sell like they've missed blocks and then they move out and they're out in front of the running back. He's got to sell that he's trying to block and then he slips out into the route. The quarterback has to sell that maybe he's trying to throw it downfield. Instead, he slips it off to the running back and when you get one set perfectly, you have to catch the ball. And that didn't happen on that play. Prescott now. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, they went for the big play there. But that drop could really hurt their momentum. Another pistol Come look on, here. Here's Prescott. He's going to let it fly. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play, and guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. And he's going to go out of bounds at the 30-yard line. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. So they complete the pass and now they face a second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Prescott to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Ohio! Ohio! Prescott. Now a desperation throw deep. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. When teams take shots at the end zone, you've got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down sticks. You defend the goal line exactly the same way. They can't cross that. You played through the receivers, and on that play, that's exactly what they did, and batted it away. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays Ohio. out. Ohio. Come on, the Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Out left side here to Bryant. They had to go for it with such...